Hello friends, we will be discussing an illustration which will be completely related to the ratio of forfeited shares. We will understand how the calculation of profit is done or loss is done in case of any kind of such ratio. So let's get started with this illustration. Now when we talk about ratio of shares, we understand that this is all about forfeited shares or cancelled shares which are being reissued to some other customer, some other client or some other shareholder now. Now whenever such reissue happens, we also know that there is certain loss that happens whenever such reissue takes in place or rather is a part of your illustration. Now with this illustration, we will be understanding every step until the reissue so what we'll be doing in this illustration is that i'll be giving you a brief information of it we'll be dealing with the journal entries related to the application allotment first final call then we'll be dealing with the full feature of shares then we'll be also dealing with certain details of reissue and how the balance of forfeiture account is supposed to be transferred to the capital reserve account Plus, we'll be preparing certain accounts as well, like share for future account, share capital account and bank account. These are the three major important accounts that we'll be preparing here. So let's start with the illustration and figure out how exactly we have to do or rather go ahead with this illustration. Now the question talks about Mrs. ABL Company Limited who issued around 1 lakh equity shares of rupees 100 each. That means the total capital that we can get is 1 lakh multiplied by 100 that will be somewhere around 1 crore rupees. So this is the value of the shares. Now this thing is payable in different parts like application, allotment or first call or final call. Let us figure out few more details into this that I'll be jotting down in this illustration. Now, each share was issued at a premium of 20 rupees. That means this question also has security premium into question. Now, let's figure out how much is payable here. Now, the question also states that this 120 rupees is payable in a following manner on application they are taking certain amount on allotment they are taking certain amount and so as on first and final call let's figure out how exactly the amount is being divided into so on application they are taking 20 rupees on allotment they are taking around 50 rupees here which includes the premium of 20 as well that means the capital on allotment is only 30 rupees now again they're taking on first call 25 and final call 25. So these all details have been shared with us. Let's figure out what all details we can put in this question related to all the comprehensive problems that we need to discuss with. So the subscription that we received was for 1,50,000 equity share and this was now divided into a following pro rata manner. So it is a clear case of over subscription that we have received and how we need to deal with it has been given in the question. So let's figure out what exactly they need to talk about. Now, this prorata discussion has been done here and they have been mentioned that the first set rather they have divided the shares of 1,50,000 applications into four categories. That means the first category refers to applications of 25,000 shares. There was a full allotment mentioned here. 
Under a set of applications of 62,500 shares, they gave allotment in the ratio of 2 is to 1. That means for every 2 share applied, they have provided 1 share. That means allotment has been done for 1 share there. Now, there was another set of 43,750 shares where they have again given full allotment. And the last set of 18,750 shares that was left, that was completely refunded. Now, the next details that we have to pass here about the four feature things. Now, they have mentioned that there was Mr. A who had 2000 shares with him and he failed to pay the allotment and first call money post which the company decided to go ahead and forfeit his shares. This is one information that they have provided. Let's figure out what else information have they provided in here. Now, apart from Mr. A, they have also provided that there was Mr. B who had somewhere around 6,000 shares and he failed to pay the first and final call money post to which the company decided to forfeit his shares. Now, all these forfeited shares were then reissued to Mr. C at the rate of 95 per share. So, we are supposed to provide the journal entries where to prepare the bank account, share capital account and share forfeiture account. So, the first thing that will be starting off is with the working of pro rata allotment so let's start with that now now this working will be very simple to understand because most of the details have been already shared in the question you only have to analyze that means for every two share if one share was provided what would be for 62,500 shares that is the only simple calculation that you have to do it's a cross multiplication calculation that you can do anyhow or using the calculator but most of the details have been already provided so it won't be much of a task for you to go ahead and figure out how exactly the pro rata has to be done so let's figure out how the working has to be done here again the page will be divided into two sections that is application and allotment to figure out how exactly things will be working out so when it comes to application and allotment we understand that for first 25,000 shit they have completely given full allotment here so that is the first category Now, the end goal of this working is to figure out that 150,000 applications have been completely adjusted as per the details that have been given. So, whatever total you're mentioning on the application side, it should sum up to 150,000. And similar to that, the allotment total should come to 1 lakh. If there is some mismatch here, that means your pro rata calculation is going wrong. So, you have to recalculate that thing. So, make sure whenever such calculations are being done, you mention down the total or rather you figure out the total on your own and cross check that with the question that has been given to you. Now, the next set will refer to 62,500 shares that we have been talking about. So when we're talking about 60,500 shares, we understand that for every two share, they're providing one share. So if applications have come in for 62,500, it will be almost half the shares that are allotted here. So that means half of 62,500 will be 31,250. Whatever excess amount we have here will be utilized for allotment purposes. So whatever due amount is supposed to be received on allotment will mention that thing here. Now, the next category will be again the full allotment. That means 43,750 what we had full allotment was done there. So let's mention that.
So this is the third category and the last category refers to the refund or the rejected shares. Now, if you have to verify whether your prorata calculation is correct or not, the application total should come to 150,000 and so as the allotment total should come to 1 lakh. Only then you can figure out yes, the calculation is correct. Let's figure out in this illustration or rather in our working whether it has been done or not. So as you can see, the application and the allotment has been finally summed up. You can make the checks on your calculator also just to figure out whether I am correct or not or whether we are on the same page. So 150,000 shares has been equivalently adjusted and allotment has been done for 1 lakh shares itself. Now the next thing that we have to calculate is that or rather we have to start off with the journal entries. So the next working will relate to journal entry preparation. Let's start with that first. Now, as we are very familiar with the kind of journal entries that we have to pass, we understand that the application received entry will be first and then the due entry and later on the comes the rejected or refunded entry and then the last entry will refer to transfer of capital money. That means application money, whatever is left will be transferred to the capital account, only application related money. So let's start with the receipt of application money first. Now, the next thing that we have to discuss here or rather we have to talk about is the journal entries. So the first entry that we are passing here is the receipt of application money. Now this will refer to the application money that we have received. That means 1,50,000 shares were applied for and the application money was 20 rupees. So 1,50,000 into 20 will give you the exact amount. The next step that we are doing here is the refund of application money. There were certain shares for which we have refunded the money. So let's mention that thing here. The entry will be reverse of what we have already passed. That means bank to share application. The entry will be share application to bank. So in total 18,750 shares were refunded multiplied by 20 will give you the exact amount of shares being refunded or applications being refunded here. Now 3,75 being refunded that means the balance what we have been left with is 30 lakh minus 3,75,000 that is still with the application fund. Now, this completely doesn't refer to the amount that we have only for application because this has certain details of allotment also. Why is because we have additional 31,250 applications for which we have taken the application money and that will be utilized for share allotment because if you remember in pro rata for every two shares applied we have allotted one. So we still have 31,250 shares whereby the excess money of that application has to be dealt with the allotment part. So right now when we are talking about this kind of thing we'll be only transferring the amount which is related to application that means 1 lakh multiplied by 20 only that much amount will be taken into consideration. So let's start with that transfer of capital account. So ideally we have 26,25,000 with us out of which we have to transfer only 20 lakh that means 6,25,000 is the additional money that can be utilized on allotment. So that will be a part of share allotment on the credit side that will be mentioning in this entry.
now that the application has been transferred to capital account it's our turn to go ahead and make the entry for allotment due make sure in allotment due we're taking premium as well so understand that premium also has to be mentioned on the credit side so let's start with that first allotment due entry now Now the entry that we have mentioned here is share allotment account debit to share capital to security premium. On allotment we are supposed to take 50 rupees out of which capital refers to 30 and premium refers to 20. So accordingly 1 lakh applications will be multiplied and kept in that specific manner here. Now it's time for us to mention the entry for receipt of application money or rather receipt of allotment money that we're talking about. Now when we're talking about receipt of allotment money we know that there are certain calls in arrears here and also we have certain adjustment amount. If you see in the allotment entry or rather in the application entry that we had while transferring it to the capital account we had 6,25,000. We are expecting somewhere around 50 lakh but we cannot have complete 50 lakh here out of that 50 lakh 6 lakh 25,000 will be already subtracted because that we have already received so ideally whatever balance is left out of that we have to further subtract the calls in arrears because there is one Mr. A who hasn't paid the allotment money here for his part of shares now whatever balance will be left will be the bank account transfer so let's pass this entry here Now whatever calculation is there, I'll mention it in red so that you can also understand how exactly the calculation is going on here. Now the first thing is that the additional amount, what has to be adjusted, what we have already received is 6,25,000. So if you can see the entry that we have mentioned here is bank account debit, share allotment account debit, call scenarios account debit to share allotment. The debit side of share allotment or rather on the debit side where we have mentioned share allotment, that will be the adjusted amount or rather the application money in which allotment part of 6,25,000 was also received will be adjusted here. Now on the credit side of share allotment, it will be 50 lakh rupees because that is what we're expecting. Now, the last part or rather the second last part that is pending here is call scenarios. So Mr. A who had 2000 shares didn't pay the allotment money in first call. So allotment money is now the question. Hence we are mentioning only the allotment part here. So 2000 multiplied by 50 is what he didn't pay. So in total, we are not supposed to receive 7,25,000 here or rather we are not receiving 7,25,000 out of 50 lakhs. So the balance that will be left will be transferred in our bank account assuming that we have received that much of amount. So that will be 42,75,000 is what we have received here on allotment. Now the next part will be doing or rather mentioning the entry for due of share first call let's pass that entry now so the entry that we're talking about is share first call due let's pass this entry Now the due entry is 25 rupees on share first call and final call. So 1 lakh multiplied by 25 will give the amount of due here.
Now the next entry that will be passing here is after the due entry of 25 lakh that we have passed, we are supposed to receive certain amount. But now here there are certain calls in arrears. Mr. A also didn't pay the first call money and Mr. B also didn't pay the first call money. So two calls in arrears here. Let's mention that part. Now, as we are expecting 25 lakh rupees, Mr. A had 2000 shares where he didn't pay 25 rupees on each share. Mr. B had 6000 shares who didn't pay 25 rupees on each share. So, whatever balance is there, that will be after subtracting these calls in arrears from 25 lakh. So, that will be assumed that that is what we have received in our bank account. So in total, out of 25 lakh, Mr. A has defaulted on 50,000 payment and Mr. B has defaulted on 1,50,000 payment. So total 2 lakh we haven't received. That means we must have received or rather we would have received 23 lakhs. So that is our bank account credit or rather something that we have in our bank account related to share first call. Now the question goes in the format as if the company decided to forfeit Mr. A share after they figured out that the person is not able to pay first call money as well. So what the company did is that they forfeited his shares of 2000. That means 2000 shares whatever he had they went ahead and forfeited that share. So let's pass the share forfeiture entry. Now Mr. A didn't pay the allotment money that means share premium was also not paid. Hence share premium has to be cancelled here. Now. The question states that if the share premium has to be cancelled, we need to figure out the entry that will be share capital account debit, share premium account debit, two call scenarios to share for future account or rather we can talk about this entry in the format that we are passing right now. So let's pass the share for future entry, the first share for future entry for Mr. A. Now the entry that we have already passed that is share capital to share premium to share for feature and to share call scenarios. These things have been already mentioned here. Now it's time to mention the amount there. Share capital refers to number of forfeited shares into called up amount of capital only of capital. I'm emphasizing on the word of capital the reason being you might end up taking the premium amount as well. Hence do not take the premium amount. What is called up? until first call the money has been called up right now that means 20 rupees on application 30 rupees on allotment and not 50 30 rupees on allotment and 25 rupees on the share first call so 2000 multiplied by the total of all these three amounts that means 2000 multiplied by 75 is the amount that is called up here the next part will refer to share premium amount 20 rupees is the premium that they were supposed to take so 2000 multiplied by 20 because that also hasn't been paid hence that has to be cancelled out. Now share for feature account will have the amount that he has already paid he has paid an application money so that is the share for feature balance that will be 2000 multiplied by 20 and call scenarios will refer to the amount that he hasn't paid again this will only the capital amount that he hasn't paid here or rather the total amount that he hasn't paid here so this person hasn't paid the allotment and the first call money so we'll take that whole amount here Now it's time to mention the amounts directly into the accounts or rather in the debit and credit column. So let's mention that.
so this share forfeiture entry has been completed now it's time to mention the share second call due entry so let's pass that entry now now when you're passing this entry for share second call or a final call make sure you don't commit a mistake of taking 1 lakh shares here because the reason I'll tell you, you have cancelled 2000 shares. That means you can only ask for 98,000 shares. So 98,000 multiplied by 25 rupees is what you can expect because you have already cancelled 2000 shares of Mr. A. So the total amount that we can expect is 24,50,000. Now the next phase that we have to discuss is receipt of share final call money. Again there is Mr. B who didn't pay up this amount. So we have to take that thing into consideration as well. Now, Mr. B had 6,000 shares and that will be 25 shares or rather 25 worth per share. So, 6,000 multiplied by 25 is what he hasn't paid. That means out of 24,50,000, 1,50,000 is not supposed to be received by us because that is called scenarios. So the balance will be something that we have received, somewhere around 23 lakhs. Now, this entry has been passed. After this entry, the company decided that it's time Mr. B also should have a full feature in his name. That means they cancelled his share as well. So we'll pass the next share for feature entry that is referred to Mr. B. Let's pass that entry now. So the 11th entry that we're passing here will refer to the share for feature account or rather share for feature of Mr. B itself. Let's pass that entry now. Now in this question, Mr. B has paid the allotment money. That means he has paid the premium as well. So there is no part of canceling the premium here. So the entry will only have share capital account debit to share for feature to calls in arrears or rather share first call and to share second call either of it that you can write but make sure the amount is correct that is the most important part here let's pass the share for future entry then. Now, Mr. B didn't pay the first and final call money. That means total of 25 plus 25, 50 rupees he didn't pay on 6,000 shares. That will be his call scenario. So in total, 3 lakh he didn't pay up. Share capital account will refer to number of shares into called up money. Now, at this stage where the second call or the final call is being done, that means the whole capital of 100 rupees has been called up. That means 6,000 multiplied by 100. So the balance equals to 3 lakh rupees. That is the amount he has paid. To check that, 50 rupees he has paid and a total of, if we have to check share forfeiture account, that means something he has already paid here. That is 30 rupees on allotment and 20 rupees on the total application money 50 rupees multiplied by 6000 will give you a total of 3 lakh rupees is what he has paid so that will be a share for future balance now this time or rather at this stage the company decided to reissue all those 8000 shares at the rate of 95 this is 5 rupees less than the 100 face value that means still on these shares we are suffering a loss of 5 rupees per share 
बिफोर वी कुड हॉप ऑन टू द रीशू शेयर और रादर द एंट्री ऑफ रीशू ऑफ शेयर लेट एस फिगर आउट हाउ मच शेयर फो फीचर बैलेंस टू वी हैव because there are two share for features that we have done so we have total balance of 3 lakh in the share for feature of this and the earlier balance of share for feature so let's figure out what is the total balance of share for feature here so mr a Gave us a share for future balance of forty thousand. Mr. B gave us a share for future balance of three lakh. Total three lakh forty thousand here. Now, when it comes to reissue, that means eight thousand shares multiplied by five. That is the difference of loss that we are bearing. So basically, we are bearing a loss of forty thousand here on reissue of these shares. So whatever loss we have bared. or rather whatever loss is going to happen that will be bared by this share for future account so the share for future has enough balance to handle this loss hence the reissue entry will be bank account debit share for future account debit to share capital now this refers to bank account multiplied by or rather bank account will have 8000 multiplied by 95 because that is the reissue amount share capital will have the capital value of per share that is the face value that means 100 rupees is the value of per share 8000 multiplied by 100 will give you 8 lakh rupees so the balance or rather the difference between them is 40000 which is the loss that we are bearing or rather share forfeiture account will be bearing now if you see that 340000 is the balance of share forfeiture before we could pass the reissue entry now that we have passed the reissue entry 40000 is bared by share forfeiture account so the balance of share forfeiture will be a total of 3 lakh rupees and that is supposed to transfer to capital reserve so the last entry that will be passing here is transfer of share for future balance to capital reserve you will understand it much better when you go ahead and pass the ledger account or rather you prepare the ledger account related to this so let's pass this entry whatever balance we have i'll show a t format account here for your reference <laughs> now share for future had credit balance here that means 3 lakh and 40000 out of which we have debited share for future with 40000 here so the balancing figure will be 3 lakh rupees now this balancing figure has to be moved to the capital reserve so in order to create a reserve reserve always has a credit balance that means capital reserve will be credited so what will be debited on that side correct that will be share for future account so the entry will be share for future account debit to capital reserve now this is the last entry that we have passed that is share for future account debit to specifically related capital reserve account balancing figure 3 lakh rupees this entry being passed marks the closure of all the journal entries that we had to create now the next step that will be doing here is the creation of ledger accounts share capital account share for future and bank account so we'll first prepare the bank account for better understanding and then the share capital and then the last account will be share for future which will be a self balancing ledger let's start with it So the first account that we are preparing here is share capital account. As you know, wherever share capital has been credited, debited, we'll take that into consideration and we'll keep passing the entries here. So the first entry that we had that is bank account debit to share application. Then we had 
share application to bank then the next entry was share application to share capital account that entry is supposed to be taken here so let's start with that so the first entry or rather the first ledger transfer that we have done is application amount being transferred here in terms of share capital or rather to share capital account similarly we'll have allotment being transferred here let's pass that entry so after application we have transferred share allotment here let's go on to the next phase Now, after allotment, we have share first call being transferred here. After first call, there was the first share for feature that was done. So in that share capital was debited and all the items that were debited or rather credited on that side will be mentioned here on the debit side of share capital because the entry was share capital account debit to other items. So all those other items that were mentioned here will be mentioned on the debit side of share capital. Now, the next will be share second call. Again, that will be on the credit side of share capital here. Now, after the second call entry, we passed the second or rather the last four features. So again, that will be again mentioned on the debit side. So let's mention that. Now the last will refer to the capital reserve or rather share capital being credited and that was only in terms of reissue. After this that is the only thing that we have to transfer here. So on the credit side of share capital will have by bank account the total amount referring to reissue here. So with this share capital account has been prepared now we have to figure out the balancing figure so let's take out the interim balance first both on the debit and credit side so if you can see the credit balance shows 1 crore 75 lakh or rather 1 crore 7 lakh 50 thousand and on the debit side we have somewhere around a total of 7,90,000 that means the balancing figure will be on the debit side here so the total balance or rather the balancing figure is 99,60,000 and that has been mentioned here now the next account that we'll be preparing here is the bank account let's start with that Now, again, whatever procedure we have followed in share capital account, same procedure will be followed here for bank account entry. So let's start with direct posting of those journal entries here. So the first posting that we have done is to share application 30,000. The next will be the refund entry. Now, after application and the refund of it, the next one is receipt of allotment. So let's start with that. So allotment has been done. 42,75,000 has been mentioned. The next will be share first call and then share final call. So share first call, share second call has been mentioned. After that, let's go ahead and figure out the reissue entry. So 
all the entries related to bank account have been mentioned here it's time to figure out the interim balance of it So the balancing figure that we have here is 1 crore 22 lakh 60 thousand and that marks the closure of the bank account. Now the last account that we'll be preparing here is the share for future account which is again a self balancing ledger. So let's start with the last account here. Now as we had discussed that share forfeiture has credit balance that means all the credit or rather all amount what you have received for all the cancelled shares will be mentioned on the credit side. So the entry that we have mentioned on the credit side is by share capital Mr A 40,000 by share capital Mr B 3 lakh. On the debit side will mention when the share forfeiture balance was used that means when the reissue happened to share capital and that will be to share capital reissue 40,000. Now if you see the last entry which was mentioned as share forfeiture to capital reserve that means on the debit side of share forfeiture it will be to capital reserve. So if you see the account correctly, it is self balancing 340 on the debit 340 on the credit here. So with this we mark the closure of this specific sum we have understood how a comprehensive problem related to reissue can be resolved here. So thank you for watching this video stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.